Okay, are we live? Are we live? What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do not normally on Sundays, but, but here I am. Um, I decided um, the other day I went live to make part of this mat, and um, after I went live, it did not work at all. So what I did was I added another layer of felt, and then I learned how to use bias tape. <laughs> Donna Joe, hello. I somehow learned how to do bias tape. I'm sure it's not the best. I'm sure. I'm sure it's not the best, but I did it, <laughs> and I'm um, pretty proud of myself. So, like I said, there were some issues with the one that I made last time. Um, I private that video because I'm like, this this is not working. So, anyways, problems with this mat were one layer of felt was not enough. I thought it was, but my original, hi Stephanie, the original mat that I made for my sewing machine was a piece of felt. And then on top of that was already a quilted piece of fabric. So I didn't think that that was like the reason why it was so stable. I, I hadn't thought it through, I think. And um, like I said, after I went live, I decided I'm going to add another piece of felt to make it more stable so it's not so pliable. Um, issue number two was that my fabric is, is some of them are really like, not, I'm not going to say clear, but they're pretty see-through. They're pretty light fabrics because these are basically sheets. <laughs> So they're pretty light. And uh, as you can see, the black felt that I used throughout the project shows through. So that kind of bothered me, like low key. I know it's going to be underneath my sewing machine, but it low key bothered me. So I decided, let me, let me fix that. And then, like I said, last night, just out of nowhere, um, I learned how to use bias tape. <laughs> And then I did these two first. I put the, you know, little bias tape around it, around these two first to practice. This is just a piece of, this is just a piece of fabric. And then I said, okay, I'm ready to do this one. Then I did this big mat. Hi, Miss Beverly. I did this mat and then I looked at it and I said, this is backwards. So somehow I put the, I did the binding upside down. So <laughs> then I said, okay undid it and then did it properly and i said okay but still you can see through the fabric here and i kind of don't like that so i said let me let me fix that and i was thinking what do i have and i actually didn't have any more felt um i only had a small piece of the black felt left and so i was pretty upset about that <laughs> but then i remembered hey didn't you uh try to make a a sewing machine cover a while ago and then decide to say never mind on that oh yeah I did <laughs> so I realized I had some of this Pelon 987F which is fusible fleece so I'm gonna use one layer of this fusible fleece as one of my layers of felt and it's white, so my fabric looks great. This is fabulous. This is this is why when I make junk journals out of this, I normally put that paper, the packing paper, behind it because it um, because it's see through. Most of the fabrics are see through. So I'm going to use that layer of the Pelon 987F. Um, underneath the um, patchwork that I have here. And then underneath that, I'm going to sew this piece of uh, felt underneath that. So, and then I'm gonna, hopefully it doesn't go terribly, but I'm going to attempt to do the bias tape on it as well. I've practiced it now four times. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm a pro, but you know what? I was really freaking proud of myself. I even sent a picture to my mom. 
I even sent a picture of my mom. My mom was like, oh, wow. She's like, you're getting better every day. And I'm like, I love you, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to do that at the end. That that takes a minute because, I mean, I'm not, it's my first couple times doing it. And I'm not perfect. Okay? But that's all right. It's just for me. <laughs> okay, so I need to get this over to my iron. I'm on medium on my iron. I don't know what heat I need. Uh, my instructions are in Spanish. I don't know what where the English part of my packaging went. I, I don't know. But it didn't say anything. I know how to read Spanish, but it didn't say anything about heat. So I don't know. Maybe you're missing a part. Maybe in the English one it says. I don't know. I have it clicked on because I from moving it around, I didn't want it to um, shift around. And um, you know what I realized the other day? Um, I was getting these little black dots on my fabric when I was ironing and I said, what is happening? And so I think what was happening was I was burning part of this wool on my um, iron. So I decided to put this piece of parchment paper on here. And now when I rest my iron here, I guess it doesn't burn the wool. I don't know. Now I don't get those little dots. So um, I got my iron set to medium. I'm going to press it in the middle first. And I believe the instructions, like I said, they're in Spanish, but luckily I know Spanish. Um, the instructions say to leave it for 10 to 15 seconds. So I don't know if it's going to want um, higher heat. Let me see. I don't know. That seems to be pretty good. And I have a, I think I bought like either half a yard or something of this stuff. Like I said, my intention was to make it into a sewing machine cover. And I still have, <laughs> I still have that desire to do that, <laughs> to finish that dream of mine. <laughs> but um, we'll see about that soon. But hey, maybe I can even make a journal cover out of this because... It's nice and uh, felty. It's nice and squishy. Maybe I can even do like a faux kind of quilt on it. I've never actually tried like, you know, doing that. <laughs> I haven't gone there yet. And I was like, oh, isn't that felt? I remembered, I said, don't you? I was also cleaning and I came upon the bag where my Joanne, I guess where I stuffed this. <laughs> And um, I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I meant to do this. And I even rewatched the video that I, that, I, that I seen originally when I wanted to make the sewing machine cover. And it, I just can't. I just can't right now. It's, it, it seems like still like it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of new sewing techniques that I've never tried in my life. But, um, you know, the bias... Me doing a bias tape is actually like a really big deal for me. I'm really surprised that I was able to do it. Very, very shockingly surprised. And I believe this says, does it say, it says adhere pressure. Oh, adhere pressure with the iron outside of the area of outside of the area I don't, what does that mean outside of the area for 10 seconds lift and press until it's fused completely okay <laughs> i wasn't sure if i needed the high high heat let's see okay part okay it's still not adhered all the way Let's put this on high then. Maybe you need a high. What else does it say? For a light adhesion with the temperature to. Is that wool? Is that what lava means? I think that means wool, but I don't have that temperature on my. I don't know what that means on my, on my iron. Uh, it says put the. Put the fabric in the position desired and iron. In most cases, this will maintain. I don't know what the long. 
in its place. Elon, I don't know what that, what does that mean? I've never heard that word. Um, for a hard adhesion, cover, I don't know what velon means. I don't, I don't know what that means. This is cover the velon. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, um, this stuff has a felty side, and then it has, like, a rough side, almost like my heat and bond. The rough side is the glue, you know. Um, let's see. For strong adhesion, cover the vel. I don't know what that means. And the fabric with a wet handkerchief. With the iron temperature to wool, iron for 10 to 15 seconds. Repeat, lift. Okay, see, that's what I was looking for. Like, it doesn't say to move it around. And I'm not, I should have looked it up. <laughs> I, I, I know with these things, you really should move them around. So it's like, okay. Uh, until the section is adhered. For, I don't know what does grosser mean. What does grosser mean? Use one more layer of fusible fleece. I don't know what grosser means. I have never heard of that in my life. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Trying to translate this packaging. Okay. I think adhesion is has been achieved. Adhesion has been achieved. See, this is so much better than, <laughs> than what I did the other day. I was like, I can't, I tried to like add a note, like, oh, I added one more piece of felt. But I was like, what if people don't read the note and then they make it and they're like, this sucks. <laughs> Cause I was kind of saying this sucks. <laughs> And I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta do it again. Come to find out again, I miss, I don't have any more felt. <laughs> Somehow I went through all my felt and um, all I had was left was this piece of black felt. So I'm going to do that underneath. I guess I could do two layers of this felt, but I don't want to, I want to do the black underneath. Okay. I'm going to say that's it. I'm gonna say it's done. I'm trying to lift up the corners. Nothing is coming done except the seam, which is fine. This is good down. Okay. iron okay so now like i said we got our piece of felt this could i don't know if would this be too thick for my covers i couldn't cut this into a corner but maybe like a soft cover i don't know this is pretty interesting pretty interesting stuff technically i think i could like sew all in between here i won't i don't have any desire to do that but i guess i could <laughs> I guess I could if I wanted this to look really, really cute. I won't put you through all that because that looks like it could take a minute to, to do. I have been like obsessed with picking like um, threads out of place that you know shouldn't be there. I'm like obsessed with like making sure they're not there. Ugh, I have been letting that slide way too often. I think. Okay. Okay. So now. We are all fused with the fleece. Next, let me get back to my sewing machine. You know what? I've been getting so much use out of this mat <laughs> that I got with my sewing machine. It's actually pretty nice when I need to move from ironing to cutting. This is 
This is okay. I like my big one. This is okay. Okay, so I got the piece of fleece. Piece of fleece. Okay. Should be the same size as my um, other piece of fleece for the fabric. So now I want to sew this. I guess I don't have to do a zigzag because it's going to get covered by the seam binding. So let me just clip these together just so they don't come apart on me. Yeah, this is nice. This is what you need. You need two layers. And you know what? This fleece, the black fleece, is even thicker. So I hope this works because two pieces of fleece were just perfect. And uh, so I hope this works. Like I said, originally I hadn't thought about it. I just put it together. I literally just put a piece of fabric on what I thought was a piece of fabric. Well, it was, you know, it's a quilted piece of fabric on top of a piece of felt. And I said, this is perfect. This collides. This is exactly what I want. And I, you know, I've had it for so many years. I don't even know when I made it, but I've had it for so many years. I hadn't thought about it at all. And then come to make a second one, and I'm like, oh, I hadn't thought about this at all. Like, <laughs> I thought it was so simple. But, but, you know, it happened by accident. And now I'm trying to do it on purpose, and I, I don't, it's not working out. <laughs> okay. Just for funsies, I clipped it all the way around just because I have more clips. Miss Patricia, I know Saturday night, Sunday live, Sunday night live, yes, I decided to do a little show for the people, you know, I'm here for the people. <laughs> okay, so I have a white thread in here, and that's what I'm probably going to be working with the whole time. So I think I'm just going to do a straight stitch, just because I think that would be easier. And I'm just going to give myself a nice... Minus stitch number three. Let's go to a length of three. That's two. Here. Oh, is this is gonna be. Hang on. This is gonna be two. Hang on. I'm trying to decide what to start and stop. Too, too far to the edge, but not too, too close. <laughs> Just right. Okay, I'm trying not to be because I'm not making a quilt or anything, so I don't need half an inch or anything. I am going to back stitch on these because I guess I'm trying to be a little bit better about that. Last time I did this was skitching, skitching, skipping, uh, skipping stitches. Oh my gosh. But right now it's all good. It's all gravy. What's up, Miss Patricia? What are you doing? Look what I learned how to do, Miss Patricia. Look. Look at me. I know how to do bias tape now. Probably not the best, but I, I was, it was okay. It was not as torturous as it looked. Until I had to rip it out and do it again. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, so let's keep going here. This is what I was doing last night. Besides cleaning too, I was oh, and I was fixing my banners. I was obsessing over my banners. <laughs> Very much obsessing over my back. <laughs> um, I'm finally happy with where they are. I'm so happy. Miss Vanessa, hello, Miss Vanessa. So happy about the placement of my banners now. I 
love my room that much more. I really do. really cute like I like the plushness of it and I see in the in this one the fabric was kind of lifting here and puckering and I didn't like that so this is freaking lovely just lovely I like hit my hand right here until there was a dial that changed my, my stitch right here that's kind of you don't want to touch it at the wrong time and I have touched it at the wrong time so I mean I just never realized how many times I go like ah, why and I I need to be more mindful but like I just don't remember that doing that like ever <laughs> and why am I doing it now I don't Okay, looks like we could cut off a little bit. And like honestly, I would have this would have been it right here. This would have been it. You really don't have to do the next step. I'm just being really extra and having fun with this new skill I have learned. But this is pretty much it. You don't really need to do anything else, honestly. This is good holiday a day after this. But I want to do something extra, just real extra, and I'm going to do the bias tape. Hopefully, I don't embarrass myself <laughs> here on live television. Okay, hopefully I don't, but if I do, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't have any more fleece, but I have more of the fusible, <laughs> fusible fleece. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, you could have called it done at this point. It's done. It really is. It's functional. Let me see if I put my... Oh, God. The sewing machine is not light, you guys. <laughs> I thought it was light. Oh, my God. Maybe it's lighter if I, like, stand up. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I added a little hoop. I'll show you. No, don't let this light back. Okay, so here's the mat I made last night. Yeah, see? Yeah, that is functional. At this point, you could say you're done. Um, the, the, here, like I said, here's the problems. It, the fabric <laughs> comes apart from the fleece. So I didn't like that. It looks like it's puckering in some spots. I didn't like that. I really didn't. Um, and then one piece of fleece was just not enough. It just was not enough. So like I said, I did end up adding a second layer of fleece and that's what this block thread here is. And I just didn't like that look either. And then I went, got it even, even more extra and I added this little loop here. So if I ever feel like taking off my petal, I can put it right here and it'll stay in place. I am going to put my house time on the new bed. I'm going to do it right now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so. Uh, I'm just telling you the mistakes that, that I went through with this first mat that I 
went live with originally. Um, and then I wanted to redo it. So that's what we're doing here. So let me put the old map back on. Just wanted to make sure. Because normally I don't have this mat here. I have my giant one. Um, but right now it's even sliding pretty nicely through this one mat and also. So like I said, at this point you could call it a day. Honestly, you don't need to do the next step. You could just be done with it like this if you're not like, uh, if, if you don't want to do this next step. I honestly had a mat just like this for the longest time <laughs> with no shame. Okay. Okay, so the next extra, extra step like I said, if I mess up, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to tell myself that, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I have my double bias fold tape. Double fold bias tape, I should say. Here is where I got it from, from Amazon. And it is 55 yards. And I did my entire wall. I did 88 banners on this bias tape, and I still have a lot of it left so i guess we're gonna find projects to use it with i don't know i was thinking i could even make more banners and i could sell them because that sounds like fun because i honestly don't want to stop i honestly don't want to stop what else am i going to do with all these banners but that's in the future anyways so double fold bias tape for the win here we go so we're going to open it up here, what I'm going to do is I need to, okay, I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle here. Clip it here. And I'm using the inside. I'm not like a professional at this. So if you would like to view a video of an actual professional, <laughs> professional doing this because I don't know the wordage, the verbiage to speak on this matter, to be honest with you. Um, let me see here. Uh, let me show you what video I did watch, though. <laughs> okay, so here's a video that I watched. If you want to see it done and explained in proper terms by an expert i am by no means an expert i'm no by no means telling you this is the best easiest way to do it i don't know this i followed a video that's why i'm doing it this way okay so double fold bias tape or this is by no means a tutorial this is just follow along with me <laughs> but there's the video that i watched anyway so i'm going to Say we're actually going to start sewing about right here. And again, this is the inside of the bias tape. I am sewing the edge to the outs to my actual fabric. This is what I did wrong last time was I did it on the other side. But here, let's clip this here. Stay in place. Okay, let's go. Let's get to it. So I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to go to stitch 15, which allows me to have, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that. I'm not Daisy. We're not we're going just to straight stitch default settings uh there's a fold right here there's four folds in this bias tape and we're gonna sew in this fold right here again watch the video <laughs> watch the video i just posted if you want to learn how to do it i'm just doing it because that's what they said to do. <laughs> um but okay we're doing it in this fold here I am going to back stitch. I don't know if you can see my sewing machine. I'm just sewing straight. I am just doing a little straight stitch here. Let's see if I can see that a little bit better. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. 
I'm just sewing in this line here. And I'm still attached to this. Everybody just kind of pulls off a piece, but I don't know how long I need. So I, <laughs> I just came out attached. It's just, it's just easier for me. It's just easier for me to do it. Okay. Just sew in or sew in. Now something's going to happen when I get to this corner here. Something is about to happen. Okay, so I'm supposed to stop and then pivot. And I need one more stitch because I'm not in the right spot. Is that it? Nope, not yet. Not yet, I need to get too excited. excited here we go um you, you can't see it on the <laughs> camera but i'm pivoting to the corner again check out that video to see it in action and i'm going to stitch back stitch and stitch out to the corner so if you can see that uh, i guess you can't because it's a, a light stitch but it goes straight straight and then out to the corner like that Okay, I have been trying to be mindful about my threads. And so now I'm kind of snipping as I go along. So I'm going to kind of end up with a clean product, which somehow is something I care about. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this ribbon up at an angle. You want, you want to open it up, but you don't want to, like, iron it open is what they said. You just want to kind of finger press it open. So I'm making this, like, little right-hand corner here. And then we're going to fold it back on itself. And I crease it. I don't think anybody else does. <laughs> I crease it. And then I the bit here in the corner so I keep it and then I'm going to just clip it halfway here and then I'm going to clip it over here okay honestly this is amazing that I could do this like <laughs> I'm shook when I did it first, I messed up. Then I did it right, and then I did it right, and then I did it wrong, and then I did it right. <laughs> so that's my track record. <laughs> that's my track record. <laughs> I forget I have the thread up button because my gut, my goodness, you guys, sometimes my arms would hurt. Literally, my hand would hurt because I would have to go out here and turn the, the knob to get the needle up. So, uh, this is literally, it's amazing. <laughs> Life changing. Life changing. Just amazing. Back stitch. And again, I'm sewing in this first um, fold. I think it's the first fold. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sewing in one of the folds. Again, please refer to that video want to know why I'm doing it because I couldn't tell. Okay. Also, I tend to watch a lot of tutorials on how to do the same thing. And I kind of pick and choose techniques like, oh, I like how you did that. And then the second step, oh, but I prefer that way. And so I kind of choose the easiest ways. If the video has pins, honey, I'm not interested. Don't show me any pins. Okay. If I can't do it with clips, I'm, I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> it's probably not gonna happen um but somehow i was able to do it I'm, I'm shook i'm shook that i could even remember what to do but again this is like my fourth time doing it now what else could i do this I, and what else could i use this in i don't know but I was thinking maybe of putting it around the edge of my sewing machine cover if I ever make it. <laughs> now I have another little skill I can add, but I had to watch a video 
I'll have that stuff because I still can't like wrap my head around how I would figure this out on my own with a non-rectangular shape. <laughs> there are videos on how to do the round stuff and all that, but I just can't, I just can't right now. <laughs> this is about all I can do. Okay, so we're coming to the edge, to the corner. Is this the right corner? Sure, why not? I actually have, it looks pretty good. If I'm doing it wrong, it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Let me go one more stitch before I turn it. One more. Pivot to the corner. Stitch, back stitch, and stitch out. Okay. Okay. So, okay, I'm good. I'm starting and I'm stopping in the right spot. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing here. Going to try and like open it with our hands. Just takes a couple times, but it does go back to its original, its original shape too. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a make this little triangle here. I come to find that a lot of people make tutorials and they'll say make a triangle, but they don't tell you what kind of triangle. They don't mean a lopsided triangle, Daisy. Like I'm telling this to myself. They mean a nice right hand triangle. Because I've come to to um, discover this on my own through my, you know, making so many drop journals with all these corners. I'm like, no, Daisy, it has to be a nice, if you want a nice result, it has to be a nice square, a nice corner, you know. You basically have to visualize a square. Okay, does this look right? No, it doesn't. So, but I, I didn't go out to the very, very corner. I must do by a stitch. <laughs> but that's okay. I just need to make it so it lands in the right spot. Which is, I need this right here to follow this right here. Otherwise, I didn't do it. Right. And I'm going to fold this back. I probably watched them do this like 30 times before I did it myself. Because I was like, wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Okay. And then we are going to clip right here. Francisco, hello. Okay. And then we are going to pin at a couple spots. We're not pin, we're clipping. Clip right here. Right here. I'm just clipping along. You technically don't need this, is what they say, but I need it. I do. And again, I just keep mine on the roll because I don't I don't know how much I'm gonna need. Again, this honestly took the most out of making this whole mat. It could have been done with this right here. It would have been fine. <laughs> you would have been just fine. But I got to be extra. And now I'm learning a new skill, so I'm stepping it up. Just stepping it up. Can irony. Can irony. Don't know what that means. But let's sew. Let's start sewing. This makes me want to buy different colored bias tape. For what, Daisy? I don't know, because I don't have any other projects that I would use to see. Like I said, I'm still considering making the sewing machine cover. I saw a tutorial for this morning, and I was like, maybe, maybe. But then I was like, no, it's too much. It just feels like too much. Sometimes it takes me a lot of try new things. You know, it's scary. It can be scary. But look at me here. I never thought I would be doing this. 
and here I am. So I'm a straight stitching over here. And then yesterday, of course, I did a whole stitch and I uh, had no bobbin. <laughs> I had no more bobbin. I was like, oh, yeah, I need bobbin, huh? Okay, we're almost getting to the edge here. Stitching. I'm really not good at getting a right on the corner, but the good thing is you don't technically have to because I haven't been and it comes out looking at least acceptable to me. <laughs> at least to me at this point. Okay. Not too bad. Could have been better, but whatever. It's okay. I'm not exactly up to the camera or up to the sewing machine where I would normally be. But you know what we got? We actually got up to the corner. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, let's spread it. Okay. <laughs> let's open this up here. angle and like I said by that I mean this is nice it makes like a nice little square here it actually has been making a difference for me we're gonna, we're gonna flip it back this is almost like braiding <laughs> it feels like a little bit of braiding back, flip it over, there we go, okay, there we go, okay, we're getting to the end, well not really, not really, I mean the end of this this part one <laughs> by a state. Part one. <laughs> okay. So this part here. Lower. Okay, here we go. Stitch, stitch, back stitch, back stitch. Yeah, I am not in the right spot at all. Over here. This is just for me. I'm not selling them, so whatever. <laughs> it's okay. It's not exactly for I am trying to get, you know, I'm trying to be as good as I possibly can be. But, you know, I'm a little noobster, so it's okay. Just learned how to do this yesterday. <laughs> just learned how to do this last night. <laughs> stitch. Back stitch. Stitch out. Man, an automatic threader would have been sweet, but, but I don't want to pay all that, so it's okay. Okay, so right here is where I realized, hey, I'm not in the, I think the guy called it in the ditch or something, so in the ditch. I don't know if that's what that means, but there's this little fold, and that's where I was supposed to sew. 
I don't know if you can see that, I kind of sew and then you go out the corner. Luckily, that did go out to the corner, so that's great. Okay. Last corner we're doing. Woohoo! Last corner. Visually, I'm making a square right here, visually. just to be safe. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to stop sewing right now. For my scissors, cut that off again. I'm cutting my threads compulsively as I go because I just, they get in the way later. Just get in the way. I don't know what happened there. Let's get on this side. What happened? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, last corner. call it a day there. <laughs> I'll just call it a day. Backstitch, backstitch. Okay. Scissors. Okay. It looks weird. It feels weird. Okay. Now, now we're doing something. Now we have done something officially done it. Okay, so, sorry, get back here. Okay, so, I'm gonna open this if I can. Daisy, thank you so much for your video the other day that tipped me off to the hands-free stitch button. I unplugged my pedal, I've been grooving ever since. Fabulous! I'm glad something I learned could help you. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. Okay, so here is what I... <laughs> I'm going to cut this ribbon. This ribbon, this bias tape. Way past... This part right here. <laughs> this part that I didn't stitch in the very beginning. And now I have this part here. Okay. So what we need to do. Okay. Is we need to. Go like this. Fold it somewhere. Doesn't even matter where. <laughs> Just fold it somewhere. And you want to give yourself a nice long tail. Probably... I would say longer than two inches. They said two inches, I made two inches and I need a longer. So this is almost, I guess it's still two inches, but that's okay. I left myself some more space over here from messing up. Okay. Folding it. And then also, look what I learned. I, I, <laughs> I am gonna end up using that chalk that the fella gave me with the sewing machine. 
I saw them use the chalk and I was like, oh, is that what I'm gonna use the chalk for? Because that would be so cool. Okay, so I folded it right here. So now I am gonna use my chalk. <laughs> I have to make a line there where I folded it. Okay. And I'm going to clip this here just so it stays. This is insane for me to be doing this, just so you guys know. This is like a little. <laughs> like, <laughs> I need everybody to realize that this is bonkers that I can do this. This is literally like I cannot even really fathom it myself. Is it the best? No, but I am doing it. Okay. I am freaking doing it. I feel so good about myself. It feels really good. You know what, how fun it is to learn new skills, you guys? It is so much fun. Even if it's just, you know, this, but it's, it's exhilarating. Exhilarating. Oh my God, it's so hot. My mustache is like sweating. I don't even know how it's possible, but it is. Okay, you wanna fold these till they meet like right here. They meet. And what I need to do is I need to draw a line there where I said that they meet, okay? Okay. So now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take this little tail out, make sure they stay together like this, cause oh my God. I'm gonna clip them together over here if I can. And on this side. Okay the chalk somewhere else. It doesn't really get on your hands, I thought it was, but it didn't. Okay, okay, we're putting this forward. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to be able to sew this where we drew the line. <laughs> this feels weird, and it is, but that's what we need to do. Those lines together, and we need to do a straight stitch, first back stitch, we back stitch the whole thing just for fun, just for fun. Let's just let's just see what it does. I think I went off the line. That's what I <laughs> Okay. That second line uh, didn't go split. I'm going to take that out because I don't want it there. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take it out. <laughs> it's already, it's already pretty secure. I don't need these stitches. Just doesn't look right. It's not going to end up looking right see it now. I'm making me upset. I can see it now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now those two little tails are sewn. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to basically switch that. Oh, 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 you know what I need to do is I need to cut this, these tails. Okay. Okay, and then we need to open those tails like that. The seam, I guess, or the seam. <laughs> cut open the seam. Okay. So now, I 
got to sew this down basically. Open. Okay. I don't want to take this off because it kind of the corner will fly out. It'll all fly open basically. <laughs> okay, we're back at our sewing machine. I'm just gonna finish sewing this line right here across the part that was not stitched into. Now we go on to part two. <laughs> so now we go 10 more hours, and just like that, we're done. Just like that, in 24 hours, our project is done. <laughs> okay, now we unclip this. Get my threads out of the way. You don't want no threads, no threads, no love, no threads. No love for no threads, okay? No, 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 no. Bed time? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now, they didn't say to do this, but since I've been doing my banners, I just kind of like automatically, <laughs> I just kind of automatically like poked the little corner here. Again, they didn't say to do it, but it sure does look a little bit better. So now we're on the back of it. It um, we're gonna fold everything inside. Basically, it wants to. It's how it wants. It wants to go back to its natural form. So again, I'm just gonna poke the little corner here. Poke the little corner here. Again, they didn't. Nobody mentioned this. I just. It looks better. I hadn't, you know, thought about it, but it looks better when I do that than when I didn't do that. Just kind of pushing the corner out again. I just finished making like a hundred banners, <laughs> so it was just like a natural move to me for me to want to do. Um, where's my chapstick? One second, gotta have a chapstick break. Okay, okay, so now <clears throat> it actually wants to fold into itself back to its natural shape. I'm just going to do that all over. There goes my clip. Oh my God. Okay. Hopefully, I don't burn my forehead. <laughs> Trying to get these clips. Okay. Okay, so now Carrie Porter from My Crafty Place. Hi. How did it get so bright? Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I got so bright. Okay, so now. We are going to work on the corner. We fold this in and it wants to go beyond. We let it and then we fold it right here. And we're going to clip the corner so it stays. Okay, and then we're going to clip here. And it just folds over on itself. I'm not forcing it or anything. It's kind of happy to do so. We extend the corner, put my thumb here, and then I fold it over. Nope, that doesn't want to do it. No nope, thumb. <laughs> Just fold it over. It's not a jump journal, Daisy. It's not a jump journal. <laughs> okay, but we're going, and this is great. This is this is the last step. This is the last step here. And my pack will look gorgeous. Just 
gorgeous. Actually, I think I've been clipping it the wrong way. I actually want the color part to be down. I don't know, apparently it matters. <laughs> I don't know, they said to do it like that in the video, so that's what I'm doing. Again, I'm not a sewing expert to hear, to tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what they said in the video. <laughs> I, I don't have any explanation for myself if I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> if I'm doing it wrong, that's what they said in the video, okay? It's not, it's not me, because I couldn't, I couldn't imagine how to do this to tell you how to do it wrong. Fold it over. Extend and we fold it over. This is again like my fifth time working with bias tape properly, not like how I used it for my banners. Technically, I guess that is the prop, one of the proper ways of using bias tape. Or, I don't know, not everybody used it in their video, so maybe it's not. <laughs> this is for sure a proper way. <laughs> this. Okay. The last thing we gotta pin is all of this here. I keep saying pin. We're, we're just folding. <laughs> there are there are videos that say to pin. I I don't I don't do pins. I just can't. But I just don't know if I'm ever doing it right. I know if I clipped something right, but I don't know if I'm pinning something for the, I don't know. Look how beautiful that's going to look once I sew it. Okay, last step. <laughs> For sure, this is the last step. <laughs> I'm going to start sewing about right here. Right here. I don't know, they try to get really into the edge, but I... All right, let's sew. We're just sewing. I'm using some sort of seam that I arbitrarily chose. I think in the videos they were doing like half inch. I'm just just going with it. It's right there. This? No. I'm pointing. Oh. If you would look silly. <laughs> yeah. See if my phone is charged so I need to take it, I guess. What are you gonna use it for? Mine works with yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go on. I'll allow it. Pivot. Oops, oops. Did we get What's going on? Nothing like that. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> what is happening? We're stuck. Okay, I'm just going to move forward a little bit. Again, it's not a professional artwork or anything, so whatever. <laughs> Skipping a step. Or a stitch. Whatever. We'll live. We'll live. You have my speed set to medium, so. I really rather like setting the speed now. Because if I, in, in this type of situation, I don't want it to go the fastest, you know? I did better the last time I did this. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not as close to the sewing machine. I did better the last time. Okay. And now it's getting caught in the purse. I wonder if it's because it didn't do this uh, before. I wonder if it's because of the 
Pelon. It's possible. It's just in the corner. It's just getting caught just in the corner. Otherwise, we are sewing through this. Judge by a book cover. She was saying you and judge by a book cover, Miss Carrie. She wasn't judging me. <laughs> I promise. cannot believe I have done this. Ah, I didn't catch the back of my seam there. Okay. Okay, I didn't catch the back of... <laughs> okay. They said we could just re-sew another line if we didn't catch the back of the uh, bias tape, which had not been an issue for me until just recently. Until just now. In fact, till just right now, I have been doing good so far. We'll fix that. We'll fix it. beginning. Now let me see what I missed. Again, this hadn't happened to me before, but of course it happens to me when I go live, of course. <laughs> just that part right there. Yeah, just this part right here. Okay. Well, I guess that's acceptable. Because <laughs> that happened to the girl from the YouTube video too, so ha! Ha! <laughs> Just this part here didn't catch on. I don't know why. That is most weird. But we are going to try and catch it now. Just gotta make sure. Problem started over here. <laughs> That's where the problem started. Okay. I'm just going to sew it on this side so I can see what I'm doing. It's okay, we'll put this part to the back. <laughs> we'll just put this to the back of the room. Nobody will ever know. you guys I did it and then like I said I added some seam binding tape over here uh, like a little loop no Charlotte your name says judged by a book cover that's that's what she meant by hi judged <laughs> she was not judging anybody I'm going to add the loop on this mat because I actually kind of like it because sometimes I don't know if I want to undo, not have the foot pedal. So what we can do is we could sew this on here and I want to make sure it's not too big so that way the cable doesn't come out. I don't want it to come out, you know. I want it to just be held. So let's add that here and I'm adding it to the back right hand corner as far as that's going to be the back of it because I messed up on that side, so that's back now. <laughs> so that side is dead to me now. <laughs> okay, that's going to be it, you guys. Again, watch the video on how to do the bias tape if you're interested. My instructions, my angles of camera might not be the best. 
is not the best, but uh, I try my best. Okay, so that's going to be it for me today, you guys. I just wanted to show y'all how I did what I did because how I did it before is not the business. <laughs> so here we are. I'm, I redid it, and I am happier than ever with it. I am very proud of myself. That's Okay, the last one wasn't exactly a, a rectangle. <laughs> this one is better shaped. Honestly, I'm really proud of myself. This looks really good. I might keep practicing. I don't know who wants me to make one for them. <laughs> who wants one? <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited and I'm ready to put my sewing machine on here and get rid of that old one. Because this one looks much better. Much, much better. Okay, you guys, I hope everybody has a good weekend, a good rest of your weekend. I'll be back, I believe, either Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure if I'll go live on Monday. Um, but anyways, I'll be back, and we'll be get back to the sunflower journals for sure. i got to get those done. Okay, everybody have a good day. Bye.